Coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to another mono game RPG tutorial and in this tutorial we aren't gonna really be adding much to our code we're really just gonna be exploring XML serialization okay so now let's get started so as you've noticed we uh, in our in our XML file, I named it path with a capital P, and I named it the exact same way that we specified the variable right here. So when we load in the XML file, it was searching for a variable called path, and it was gonna st place whatever was in here inside that path variable. Now let's say now for one thing that you have to note with XML serialization is that the variables have to be public. If it was up to me, I would make it private, but because when you want to deserialize something, it has to be public, I set it to public. Now, let's say, for instance, I want it to be a lowercase, okay? But I still wanted to load in, uh, I wanted to load in the path right here, and I wanted to locate the uppercase version. Remember that C sharp is case sensitive, and so is XML and all that stuff. So, uh, what I would do is you would take the square bracket, type an XML element, and it's not going to work, sorry. Because to do something like this, we have to include XML serialization. So we're going to call XML element, and in the brackets, we're going to put the name of the element that we're trying to load in. So whatever is below this, the path whatever's name is path with a capital P we're gonna store it in this right here so I'm gonna remove this and watch we will get an error or we should yep it says value cannot be null because there's no value for path now let me place this right here and let's run this once again and voila it runs perfectly so it says whenever you find this you're gonna store it in this variable right here pretty plain and pretty simple now let's say for example we have some public variables if we have other public variables let's say for example let's make a content manager so let's include the content namespace right here now if we were to run this program right now we should get an error and the error is going to say there was an error reflecting type uh, splash screen. And if we look at the inner exception, it says cannot serialize member YouTube IPG splash screen content. So it's saying it can't serialize this. So if there's something that you have a public you have a public variable of, and you don't want to serialize it, you can just simply call XML ignore. Now there are some public properties also that you want to private get like you have a private setter. Remember the the setter has to be public. So if you have something with a pri that's public but has a private setter, make sure you put XML ignore or you will get an error with that. So now that we've gotten that done, let's get into our lists. So let's say we have a list of let's say we have a list of paths and let's call this path and we'll load in path zero so let's just say we have a list of them how are we gonna load a list well when you're putting in a list you put in a you have to put XML element and whatever element you're gonna be whatever the element is called so whenever it sees this element name, it's going to store whatever value that is inside whatever that list. So if I go right here and I type in another path and I say splash screen image two or whatever, let's, let's go back here and let's just say load in path one. We should get an error saying that it can't find it. See, it's saying it can't find it. Oh, there's no instance. Hmm, that's okay. That's kind of awkward. So we said elements, object not set. Okay, so that is kind of weird. 
So let's see what we did wrong. Yep, this is a common mistake that you'll probably see me make a lot. But remember, it has to be public. So because it's not public, it skipped over it. So now if we run this again, it's going to say it can't find the path. It can't find the image. So if we look in here, we have image one and image two. So that's how we load stuff into a list. So uh, let's say, for example, let's say we have something like a vector two that we want to load into. So now let's create a vector two and let's just call it position. And we're going to store position in here. And remember to make it public or else it won't serialize. So if your variable has the same name as the name that you have in the XML file, then you don't have to put XML element or anything there. You only have to do that if you have uh, a list. Even with a list, I don't even think we need to do that. Let's try it out. Let's try this out just to see if it'll work. Uh, change it to P, capital P. Let's see if this works. Yeah, so it doesn't work with a list. You're going to have to let it know the element that it's looking for. Anyway, so now let's have something called position. So if we have a vector two, like a vector two for a position, how are we gonna know? How are we gonna place the x and y values? Well, remember, the vector two is a class. It is a class, and it contains an x variable, a y variable. Uh, different types of variables so what we have to do how we would serialize that in XML is that we would first have to put position then we would have to put the variable X whatever we want it to be and then we would have to put the variable Y so it's kind of like a hierarchy well it is a hierarchy so if we run this then I'll start drawing it at a position Oh, sorry, I gotta set this to zero. So you won't really see much of a difference because it's not, the offset isn't that big. So let me, let me make it broader to make it more obvious. Let me just put 200 in the X coordinate. And as you can see, it, is start, it starts drawing at the other end. So. Uh, as you can see, this is how it works. So for example, let's say we want to serialize into a class that's inside a class, which is what we just did. So let's go to our splash screen and let's say, let's just make another class uh, image. And inside this class, we have a public string called path. And that's the path to our image and then uh and then yeah so right here we're just gonna make a public image and we'll just call it image and then here we're gonna say load image dot path so how will we do this well it's the exact same thing as we did for the position we would do whatever the name is image and then inside there we would store the path the path is splash screen image one. So now that we've done that, it's going to, it should store it correctly. And if we run this, it should run the exact same thing. So voila, the exact same thing shows. So last but not least, since I'm pretty sure you've gotten the grasp of that, we're going to go to our XML manager class and actually see how this is working. So what's going to happen is that Oh, uh, we are basically taking our, when we go to our screen manager and we say current screen is equal to XML game screen manager dot load. What we're saying is that it's gonna, our XML manager is gonna create a brand new instance of our class. And then it's gonna take the variables and such from here and give, the, give them a, a value or so on and so forth. So, 
uh what you one thing that you have to note is that what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a brand new instance first it's gonna call the constructor first then it's gonna add the values to the variable and that's uh very important to know so if you want to have base variables in case something's not loaded properly or so on and so forth then make sure you do that in the constructor because if you do it in another method or something like that then what's going to happen is going to override what was loaded so it's going to load the constructor first then place in the values then you can call everything else so that's essentially how it's going to work and when you call the save when you call the save method in here, it's going to organize it in the exact same fashion that we have laid it out. So that is practically, that's basically it for XML serialization. I hope you got a good overview of everything. I hope you uh, really understood it. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and bye for now.